Okay, like when people ask me what AVID is, I tell them that it's advancement via individual determination. It's about college, what college is going to be like. Organization. Note taking skills and, and study skills. Cornell notes. Rigorous courses. Tutorial sessions. You do work in AVID. And the higher level of questioning, you're actually thinking, you're actually making real life um, experience connections. Just to sum it up in one word is literally determination. You have to be determined to get what you want done. The best thing about AVID is we're one big family. It's like a family. AVID is my second family. The biggest thing for me is that we are family and, you know, we work hard, we love hard, we fight hard sometimes, you know. Honesty and truth is very much involved in AVID and you have to be able to face your weaknesses and face your fears and figure out how you can grow from it. And then you decide who you want to be, where you want to be, and then we just help fill in the gaps. It's amazing, you know, the backstory of these kids. They, they amaze and impress me daily. I never imagined going into college until now. I just thought it'd be high school and that's it. Just find a, like, a regular job. All I did was save money in a jar. I didn't know how, what else to do. Um, family came here so I can be born here for me have a better education. What pushes me the most uh, is my parents, like, being, you know, I can't go to college. Okay. okay. <laughs> they are in the here and now. Today, what am I going to eat today? Where am I going to sleep today, today, today? And so AVID pulls them out of that daily thought process into future thinking. Usually when you talk to them about their family and their own personal goals, then they remember why they started in the first place. You know, you have to open up their eyes to what's out there, and I think AVID does a nice job of that. I think they um, let students see what is possible, and, and through those possibilities, what they can become. I never thought that I had it in me to be like in the top 100 like ranking and stuff. So I'm really proud of myself that like I put myself into the spot where I said, I'm going to try really hard academically so I can get far in life. AVID has just really been there to help me since I'm the first in my family to go to college. I wanted to make my mother proud since she wasn't able to go to college. I think I figured my life different um, because I could get a better job and then I would be able to support me and my daughter. You really have to dream to go to college. If you're just planning on just saying, I want to go to college, well, do you even know how to get there? Do you know the steps that you need to take? Because it's not just something that you just sign up for. It's not some, it, there's a process. I've always told myself that I wanted to go to school. I didn't know what GPA was. I really didn't care about my grades. I saw college as impossible. I think AVID's helped me see that that's something that you can do. My main goal as an AVID educator is to impart the importance of being prepared for what's to come. Everybody who wants to go should be able to go. What is college like? You know, I like being part of that curiosity and able to facilitate that curiosity and to answer the questions that they have with my experiences in college. I just want AVID students to know that, um, you know, that you can make it in college, that whatever you have in store, you know, it will come so long as you're able to work. We definitely have an atmosphere that encourages everybody to think about the future. We've, we've become more of a college culture campus. I think about it every day, actually, with all these posters and all the trips and just there's not a day you go by without just seeing college posters around or being talked to about college. College is way more important than we actually thought it was. Now I see it as something that a new opportunity in a new place in life that's going to help me grow even bigger than what I am. If you come to North Garland, you're going to college. Doesn't matter where you started, but that's where you're going to finish. What stands out the most about North Garland is definitely the academic side of everything. We're always on the top tier of things. Compared now to when I first got into AVID, it's way more throughout the school. I feel like North Garland does have the best AVID program. Our, our teachers, our advisors, the, the site team, we all work really hard. My junior year was first, my first year here. And compared to my other high school, it seems like a lot of students here are, have goals for themselves and 
everybody here wants to learn, and then, then teachers just enhance that. Uh, overall, this, it, we have some of the best teachers here. Even though we're doing good, they push us to do better than what we're doing. Ms. Phelps pushes us with grades. She's constantly on our case. She never lets us slack off. At the beginning, I didn't feel like I could do everything, so I asked my teacher if I can get out of uh, AP English. Uh, they wouldn't let me. <laughs> You know, every, every chance that I have with my students, I'm always trying to figure out, okay, what can we do to be better today? What can we do to make a positive change? Um, and you know, it's exciting and it's fun. We have the opportunity all day long, every day we're in class, to have those discussions with our students. And I feel like that's a blessing. For me, the students are what stands out the most here. They're all very goal-oriented. They're all very successful. I see it in attitudes and relationships. They're a bit more focused. There's a lot more interest in scholarships and college applications than there used to be among the average student. There's just a general college-going expectation among the students. And I do believe that, like it's been said often, it's the foundation of AVID that does that. You know, I've had students who have not just succeeded in AVID, but have risen to the top as far as, you know, scholarship offers and um, school opportunities. It's been, you know, a wonderful evolution to, to watch here at North. I've been here 17 years. And you know, the difference that, that AVID has brought to this campus is, is really immeasurable. Something we're doing differently here is taking our AVID practices, which is really just, you know, best teaching practices and making it campus-wide. Seeing everybody get on board with it makes a big difference in the overall culture of the school. All of our teachers have been AVID trained. It's a part of, of your classroom and a part of the way you teach and your philosophy. The administrators believe in it, the teachers believe in it, and I think that we have sort of created an environment in which our kids can thrive by using AVID strategies. They come into a school that has high rigor, high demands. They're being placed in classes that are gonna be a struggle for them because we do expect our kids to be competitive when it comes to getting into college, and that means you need to be taking AP courses. I see a significant number of students involved in those AP classes um, who either are from directly from the AVID program or have been influenced by the AVID program that I believe would not otherwise have been placed into those AP classes. We're so excited and proud to be in the process of uh, becoming an AVID demonstration school. It's something that we've worked hard for for many years. Um, a lot of the people who even, you know, their blood, sweat, and tears uh, who were invested in this um, are not even here anymore. When you're a demonstration site, I think you're even more aware day to day of, of what you're doing and how you're putting those strategies into work. The biggest and best thing is that we just, we're a demonstration school to help our students. I think now we're reaching higher limits than we did before. It pulls out that, just that greater part of you that you don't know that's there all the time. Being an avid, it told me you can get farther in life. If you look for it, if you want it, you can get it.